I'm David Bartlett, the Project Director for the Seaford Rail Extension Project. We're on the banks of the Yonkapringa River adjacent to the Yonkapringa Valley Bridge. The project is constructing a 5.7 kilometre extension on Adelaide's rail network, which will give people wanting to travel from Seaford to Nolunga and the city a faster trip on the most modern rail line in the state. The dual track rail line will be electrified, running newer, faster electric trains that run on average every five to seven minutes in peak times. This service is expected to attract approximately 6,000 passengers per weekday. Building this new line has been an exciting project for both the contractors and my project team. The contractors Tees McConnell Dow have used an unusual construction method to build the bridge across the Ongapinga Valley by launching both ends out from each side. These sides have now met in the middle to form a continuous structure which signals significant progress has been made. In addition we're building four other bridges and have laid more than half of the track along the corridor and in the stabling yard. More than 1400 masts will be installed to carry the overhead wiring to power the trains. Two new stations are almost complete at Seaford Meadows and the Seaford District Centre. Both have extensive park and ride facilities, a thousand car parks in all, to make it easy and safe to get dropped off close to the platforms. And we're using a new method for the state to grow grasses, ground covers and shrubs on the steep batters along the corridor. An eco blanket, a combination of mulch, seed, compost and fertiliser is being sprayed on the sections of the corridor in deep cut to stabilise the banks and ensure low maintenance costs into the future. To deliver this complex project on time, more than 400 people have been working on the site on a daily basis, many from the surrounding areas. With some further hard work, we'll have the new electric trains being commissioned and tested on, the, on this Seaford line in the middle of 2013. And I'm really looking forward to seeing passengers enjoy an improved service later that same year.